So we're in B and Q today, and we're going to attempt panelling our office. We've just been to Home Bargains and um, Halloween stuff, so we've got glitter like all over our faces. Uh -huh. But we uh, measured up all the panel sizes, didn't we? On the walls, so we're going to try and get them cut today. Wish us luck. I know. Fingers crossed. We have little to zero faith that we're going to get it done, but. You gotta have faith, the faith, faith. You gotta have. Okay, we'll speak soon. Okay, so B&Q was literally no use. The man was quite rude and told us to basically pay off and said. He didn't tell her to pay off. No, in a nutshell, he said, it's gonna cost you a lot of money to get it done here. I'll take your money, um, but basically you need to go somewhere else, like a timber yard or something like that. So he's told us a local one that we need to go to. Um, no idea. He also told us that instead of doing panelling to uh, get wallpaper, go to aisle 23. I'm sick of panelling. No, so he, said, he just said to like to ha have a template of where to put it up and stuff, which I get, but no, that, no, I don't no, want to be. No, he was saying get wallpaper instead. I actually oh. have wallpaper instead of panelling. Oh. It wasn't for a template, it was that you said they do some nice effect wallpapers. Oh my god. I know. Yeah. We've already measured everything, we know where we wanted to go and marked it all up and all that sort of stuff. So it's not that, it's just, yeah, it's just trying to get a cut, which we could throw in want to buy like a jigsaw and all that malot because we literally will never use it. So, yeah, we're going to get some lunch and try and go to this place. So, yeah, we will speak soon. Bye. Yeah. <coughs> so I've got the tea and a toasty and it's so nice. Yeah, just a cup and a toasty. Hi everyone. We're just in B and M's. So we've just ordered some um MDS, haven't we? So God knows what though. Uh -huh. Like Lots of it, and it's yeah. not going to fit in the car. But we need to get no more nails. <laughs> we've got an hour to wait until we have to go back, so we're going to get some glue for the wood, and then we're going to get a chainsaw as well. Not a chainsaw, <laughs> just a saw. A saw. <laughs> I know it's Halloween, but we don't need a chainsaw. Bye. Bye. Wish us luck. It's all I can say because God only knows what's going to this next hour is going to be like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, then. Just been a screw fix to yeah. get a template for if we need a saw. My dad used to always have one, so I felt like it was probably clever for us to get one. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna unlock the car. <laughs> yeah. Lip, we just had the most traumatizing experience in my whole entire life. <laughs> I can't even go up. So we went to collect our wood from the timber house place and it wouldn't fit in the car as we expected honestly we tried sideways front ways diagonal i was gonna have the boot open at one point to drive home and i was gonna carry 10 planks of wood home about 10 minutes to walk up there and then we managed to fit it all in we were like okay it's fine we're done but i was gonna have to walk home and all i could do was get in the back so andrew made us get in the back of the car squat, lie on the flattened down seat like an ant on his back <laughs> in the back and then andrew gets in the car seat belts on like right you ready there's about 10 workmen just stood watching me like laughing their heads off and then i couldn't change gears because the wood was in the way so ready? i couldn't yeah, move ready to so go. I was like, oh my god we're gonna have to get out and take all this out bearing in mind i'm like this on my back like and then all of a sudden this man like came over and helped us, thankfully. Yeah, so now we've got all the wood right. inside, and now we've got the chore of getting it up our 40 flights of stairs. Um, yeah, so wish us luck even just with getting this wood in because there's about 400 planks. So yeah, we will try. So we've got the first piece up. It's looking okay. So now we're just cutting out a little bit for here. But we've had to cut the wood, so all of us currently chainsawing. Chainsawing? I mean, <laughs> sewing. This piece. There we go. I've just bloody hoovered as well. So this is where we're currently at now. So we've got them round the corners over this corner 
and we are currently up to here. So we've just got this corner to do and then we'll start doing the bottom panels. But we're doing really well, aren't we? Yes, I'm actually over the moon. Like, I didn't think we'd ever be able to nah. do this. And we've got so much spare, so. Like, we've been missold by the joiners. Oh, I know. But we'll use it for something else, won't we? Yeah, well, we'll want to do our bedroom as well, so uh -huh. um, it makes sense just to have. Extra. I said I'd rather get more and only have to do one trip. Mm -hmm. And especially with that car journey. <laughs> Imagine we'll have to do it again. I know. You God. So I've given the top half of the wall a coat of white paint. Unfortunately, I had to say goodbye to the moon, which I was a little bit sad about, but it had to go because it reminded us of the old owners. So, nice and fresh. And then eventually we will paint the bottom once all the panelings are on, but it's looking good. Okay, so, while I was at work, Andrew managed to finish putting the down panels um, around the whole of the room. So it's starting to finally take shape. I've also been round and um, caulked in between where there was gaps. I think that's how you say it. Um, in between the gaps just to make it like flat and even. And I've also primed all of the MDF with MDF primer. Just so when we do paint it, it looks um, good and the colour actually goes on properly. Um, the colour that we're going to be painting it with is Farron Ball Green Smoke. So we're just going to go that on this side and then up there it's just going to be white and you can still see the moon. Um, yeah, it looks quite messy if I'm honest, but a couple of more coats and hopefully it's gone. Um, but yeah, it's really starting to take shape. I can't wait till it's done. So I've just finished putting the first coat on the panel in and it's starting to take shape. Obviously it's a little bit messy still, but once I go over it again and neaten it up, it's starting to look so good. In the colour, that's obviously only one coat and it's gone on really well. But yes, can't wait to get it finished. So we had some leftover wood, so we thought we'd panel the main bedroom as well. So I've just been sticking these on here, measuring them all up. Um, but yeah, we're just going to paint it a nice dark smoky blue, is it called? Hague blue. blue. So yeah, we will keep you posted once it is complete. So we've just bought some beading from B&Q. So it's going to tidy up the panel in a little bit, isn't it? Um, yeah, and then that was in being here this time and actually, well, it didn't actually help us with self-serve, but yeah, we managed to get it. Uh -huh. So we're just measuring it up, but it's going to go on the top of the panel in, so it's going to tidy it up and make it look a bit more profesh. So Oliver's just in the process of cutting. Right, go. Let me speak. Oh, Andrew's just putting on the last piece of beading. <laughs> <laughs> he wants us to talk, but... No, how are you to say something? What we decided to do with this one as well is we've pre-painted them because before we panelled and then painted, which obviously meant for lots of wobbly lines along the top. So, yeah, we painted them first. We measured them, cut them, then painted them. Mm-hmm. And also I ignore this little bootcase situation that needs to sort out, it's just, yeah, what it is. Hi, okay, so today is a good day in the house move because we've had flooring fitted in our bedroom and in the office. So currently our house looks a mess, there's stuff everywhere, furniture, mattresses, so on and so forth yeah. um but yeah so just a quick update we decided to go with like a natural wood in the office because we've got the green panel in and then we decided to go for like a white grayish white color in the bedroom so it's like light and airy yeah it probably brightens it up in there doesn't it but 
We're so glad because the carpets are so run down and a bit minion, but it definitely has changed the room for the good. Definitely. And yeah. And thankfully we've got it because it's taken weeks and weeks and weeks. We ordered it. Yeah. And, yeah. It's but new floor is so good. It's exciting, but yeah, looks really good. I'll show you now. Mm -hmm. So this is the colour that we went with in the office. We need to touch up paint all around the panelling because the labourer floor fitting people um, have scuffed it all up. So it all needs, if you can see, touching up everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's that one. And then there's the old Pongo. <laughs> Again, yeah, we're getting this all replaced as well, but that's another one that's taken forever. Um, but yeah, this is the colour in our bedroom. So you can see it's really light and airy and white. Um, it's got dust and sawdust and stuff all over here and all over the skirting boards. And they all need another lick of paint. But yeah. Um, yeah, it kind of brightens it up, doesn't it? It's mm -hmm. so nice because the carpet in here was like brownie orange. So it was horrible. So it's nice to see like the light bounces off the floor and the walls and stuff. So, mm -hmm. but it like matches the colour scheme of the panelling and the bed. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. The, obviously we've got the... Panelling, but it's the exact same here, like the scuff, scuff. Yeah, we'll cover that, but yeah, it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. But when you go over the skateboards or the glass and that, because it's really, yeah. Uh, you don't think it's that bad until you've got pretty much white floral and then the skirting boards look horrendous. We did gloss it all when we moved in, so yeah, not fabulous. But yeah, we'll keep you updated. Hi everyone. Hi. We're just having a day out. We're just off to IKEA. Um, we're doing up the office and we're on some bits and pieces. We need like a chest of drawers and things like that because we've got nowhere to put our like underwear and those bits and pieces. So yes, we're going to see what we can find and we thought we'd have a trip to IKEA and the Metro Centre. So we'll yeah. keep you updated. Bye. Ciao. Please wait for the green light. Oh, bugger off. Okay. We're going for this one for the office. Yeah. Lampshade, we just wanted something that was really easy to put up. We don't want to have to mess around with like ceiling fittings and all those sorts of things. So, yeah, we've got a nice little wicker style. So, yeah. Okay, so I bought a Costco membership the other day at work and we've decided to make a visit here while we were at IKEA as well. And it's Oliver's first time here, so yeah. I'm going to show him the ropes. <laughs> and he's only been once, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> once is better than nothing. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to live our best life and God knows what we're going to buy, but I can't wait. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. Oh my God, can you open it? No, we found some blue eggs. We've never seen blue eggs. Look at them. Are they actually blue? They're amazing. I wonder if the yolk's blue. No, surely not. It's going to be like spooky Halloween But essentially British. If anyone's tried these, please let us know. Why are Look at the size of these muffins. Amazing. Do not need them. <gasps> Look at the cakes over there. Oh my god, oh. I want one of them cakes. <laughs> I actually got a cold. So amazing. Successful trip. Said we weren't going to buy anything. Came out of the bottle of I know. All of them wanted an ice cream, but it's huge, huge. Let's try and fit in your little car now. <laughs>